This is Paris Future Prophecy Part 5. And this first segment of Paris Prophecy 5 will cover dreams from letter A to letter H. This is section 10, letter A. There are 10 dreams in this segment that begins with the letter A. There are 9 dreams about airplanes and there's one dream about an arrow. The first number in this segment is the number 1. This segment is called Section 10, One Airplane Dream, or S10-1-A-I-D. In the month of April 15, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I had a light dream. I dreamt I stood over ground zero where the Twin Towers once stood in the year 2001. It was daytime and it appeared to be quite gray out. I seen several white construction workers moving wooden boards back and forth. Then I noticed that some of the construction workers were now under muddy water. The brown like water were over their heads. Most of the white construction workers I believe were on their way to construct the new skyscraper that will soon take the place of the fallen World Trade Towers. I sensed that the water that were now right over the heads of the workers came upon the workers by surprise. Then the next things I witnessed in this dream was now I was home at Halsey Street. It was also a daytime here, but the daylight was bright and sunny. I stood in the vestibule of my Halsey Street home and then the next thing that I noticed was now I was on the third floor of my brownstone home and I was inside my father's room. My father was not in his room. I looked out the window and I spotted military men running upon the stoop of my home. I seen a black military man who wore green fatigue rushed up upon the stoop of the house. Then he entered inside the room where I'm still was stationed. Then the black military man began to ask me questions in a kind of angry way. I don't remember what he was asking me, but I became afraid of him. Then the very last incident that took place inside my dream was now I was at Ashford Street where I grew up in. I was on the corner of Ashes Street and Workman Avenue. Actually, I stood at the edge of a green lawn of my old friend who I uh, grown up with um, at Ashes Street and, uh, back in the 70s. And I, in this dream, I wore a spring or summer wear. Then after I noticed where I was, I suddenly seen a very wide, white, and narrow commercial plane fly over the roof of my old friend's house. And this is the plane that I see fly over the roof of my old friend's house. The plane was very wide, it was very long, and it flown very low over the roof of my friend house that I grew up with in the 70s. This plane must have been 70 or 80 feet above the ground I stood on and the place and the plane also must have flown 20 feet above my friend you know uh, home over his over the roof. The site of the sudden appearance of this strange aircraft almost made me go into cardiac arrest. I was truly frightened at what I seen. This airplane headed down Workman Avenue, which is opposite direction to John F. K. Airport, and more close to Starry City than I woke up. The next number in this segment is the number two. This piece is called Section 10, 2 Airplane Dream, or S10, 2 AID. In the month of May 29, 2010, 
I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I dreamt that I was walking around somewhere in an American city. It was daytime. The sky above me was very blue. Then after I gazed upon the blue sky, I then beheld a strange looking plane in the air. This plane was small like a normal sized automobile. Then I quickly noticed the red and white lights on the plane's side. This particular aircraft spun around in a circular uh, formation and then it stopped and hovered over my head. And I have a drawing of this particular plane which was like the size of a normal automobile. Uh, the plane flown around and then it hovered over my head. The plane was about a hundred feet in the air and from nowhere a white man appeared before me and he began to discuss with me about the red and white lights on the wings of the aircraft that continued to hover over me. I believe the man told me that the red light and the white light on this plane does not mean that this airplane is a commercial plane. The next number in this segment is the number three. This piece is called Section 10, Three Airplane Dream, or S103AID. In the month of July 2nd, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I had a light dream. I dreamt that I was once again inside my old house at Asher Street. I was on the third floor and I looked out the window. It was nighttime. Then suddenly I seen a gigantic commercial aircraft fly over the roof of my house. This airplane was very low to the ground. The airplane was also tilted towards its left side. The plane kept flying towards the direction of John F. K. Airport. Then I lost sight of the plane because it continued to fly out of my sight. Then another smaller aircraft also flown over the roof of my house. The smaller aircraft was also heading towards John F. K. And it too flown in the air, slightly tilted towards its left. Then I noticed a great burst of air began to kick up in the sky. I started to realize that the great burst of wind must have